ओके फ्रेंड्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टू डेज लेक्चर हियर आई एम शेयरिंग दिस स्क्रीन इज द स्क्रीन इज विजिबल स्क्रीन इज विजिबल फ्रेंड्स Yes, is it visible? Please reply, friend. Screen is visible. Yes, sir. Sir. Okay, okay. In last lecture, we came to the operational amplifier parameters or parameter of the op amp simply. In that parameter, we studied the uh, three parameters that is input, uh, bias current. and we know that the input bias current is the mean of both the non inverting and inverting current see here this is the mean of this is the mean of inverting and non inverting current and typically that is the ib is equal to that is the input bias current is equal to 18 nano ampere 80 nano ampere then what about the second parameter is the input offset current input offset current is the difference between two inverting and non inverting current difference between that is it may be any one is the higher hence it will be connect it will it will be shown in mod it will be shown in mod here we know that just i am going to take the lesser point and here we say that see that that is input offset current is the mod of the i1 minus i2 that is the difference of the both current and we are we are going to take on the mod if the i1 is greater or the i2 is the greater that difference should be considered as the positive difference and that positive difference between the uh, cur currents of the two bases we know that uh, that inputs are the inputs are the base terminal of the two identical transistor q1 and q2 we know that in operational amplifier or in differential amplifier there are the two uh, transistor t1 or t2 or it will be known as an q1 or q2 these two transistor are identical transistor equivalent transistor and these are known as an darlington pair of each other and their base the difference between their base current difference between their base current or the, the difference between the non inverting and inverting current that is we know that one terminal is known as an non inverting terminal and other terminal is known as an inverting terminal and if we take the uh, difference positive difference between these two uh, inverting and non inverting input terminal then that will be known as an input offset current that will be known as an input offset current and it will be indicated by the ios and it will be less than the 25% of the input mismatched it will be it will be about the 25% of the input uh, mismatched and in case of the ic 71 741 we know that the op amp is the ic 741 ic and has typically the os is the uh, os is of the 20 nanosecond kitiye 20 sorry 20 nano ampere is the 20 nano ampere is the uh, basically input offset current basically input offset current okay then third one we are going to see the third characteristic that is input offset voltage that will be indicated by the vio see here this is the input offset current and input offset sorry input offset voltage and input hop, offset voltage is it is to be indicated by vio that is input offset voltage when the input of uh, input of an operational amplifier is grounded one of the input one of the input is grounded ek input ground karaycha hai ith aplyala dista hai ek input apan ground kela then amplifier if the one of the input is the grounded and the output must be zero we know that that is the both the inputs are grounded consider that as shown in this diagram 
when inputs and operational amplifier are grounded both the inputs are grounded and we know that as it is the identical transistor equivalent transistor are present in case of the differential amplifier or the operational amplifier it may be said as the uh, 741ic is it correct okay then when the inputs of the operational amplifier are grounded the output must be zero if the both the inputs are grounded output should be zero that is v0 output voltage should be zero but ideally practically it is not came zero if the both the inverting and non inverting input of the operational amplifier are grounded output should be zero but it is theoretically practically it is observed that output voltage does not zero as we know that if the common input is given to the both the non inverting and inverting input then output should be output should be zero but it is theoretically zero practically it does not zero we get some output offset voltage cr but there is small error in the voltage at the output due to the difference in vb voltages that is the why this will be arises that is the difference between base to emitter voltage and difference between base to emitter voltage is observed in case of differential amplifier and hence and hence we are getting some output offset voltage some output offset voltage is to be observed here we have to observe the zero volt but due to small differences in vb voltages of the both the transistor q1 and q2 or t1 and t2 we get some of the output offset voltage it does not zero we get the small output offset voltage and then at the input take the any one of the input it may be inverting non inverting and inverting generally take the inverting input and apply the external battery this is the external battery this is the negative terminal and this is positive terminal take the one of the external battery and give the voltage to the any of the terminal it may be to the non inverting terminal or to the inverting terminal generally it is given to the negative terminal means inverting terminal generally and slowly increase the voltage of that battery external battery which is connected at the inverting input we see that if the input output offset voltage which was observed is increasing then change the polarity if the input offset voltage that is sorry output offset voltage at v0 is increasing then change the polarity reverse the polarity and by reverse the polarity slowly change the voltage of that battery and stop on that such a voltage where the output offset voltage become zero means that when both the terminal are grounded we are not getting the v0 zero, zero but we are getting some of the output offset voltage then select the one terminal generally select the inverting input terminal apply the external battery slowly increase its voltage if the output offset voltage v0 is increasing then reverse the battery terminals polarity 
and slowly increase the voltage such that output offset voltage become zero that is input offset voltage equal to difference in vb value of the input transistor and this voltage may be applied to the particular input terminal to obtain zero output offset voltage and the input offset voltage that is connected here the input offset voltage is such a voltage which is required to make output offset voltage zero output offset voltage zero karna sathi j input offset voltage lagta require ahe tya voltage la apan kay manto mitrano input offset voltage ase manto lakshat ala ka इत मिलना आउटपुट ऑफसेट वोल्टेज जीरो करना सा टर्मिनल में जी का एक्सटर्नल बैटरी जोड़े है तो एक्सटर्नल बैटरी चोल्टेज मे इनपुट ऑफसेट वोल्टेज है इनपुट ऑफसेट वोल्टेज इज द सच वोल्टेज विच इज गिवन टू दी वन ऑफ दी टर्मिनल और जनरली टू दी इन्वर्टिंग टर्मिनल ऑफ द ऑपरेशनल एम्प्लिफायर सच दैट to get the output offset voltage zero output offset voltage zero karnyasathi eka terminal la dilela voltage manje tela input offset voltage asa mhatla jata and we know that typically for 741 741 is the operational amplifier that will be known as an op amp and for operational amplifier typically that voltage maybe it is about the plus minus 2 mv it is about the plus minus 2 mv next parameter is the slew rate in last lecture we came to the slew rate the maximum rate of change of output voltage in response to step input voltage is the slew rate of the operational amplifier what is the slew rate the maximum rate of change of output voltage that is rate of change of output voltage in response to the step in input voltage with respect to steps in input voltage input voltage jasa vadat jata constant hot asta tasa jo change hai आउटपुट ऑफसेट वोल्टेज मधला जो चेंज है वेरिएशन है त्या दोगांचा जर रेशो घेतला तर दैट रेशो विल बी नोन एज एन स्लीव रेट दैट विल बी नोन एज एन स्लीव रेट ऑफ ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर एंड द स्लीव रेट डिपेंड अपॉन द हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स कर्व इट विल बी डिपेंड अपॉन फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स कर्व कशावरती डिपेंडेंट है मित्रों इट विल बी हाईली डिपेंड अपॉन फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स कर कंसिडर दैट हियर दिस इज इनवर्टिंग इनपुट लूप है फीडबैक है फीडबैक इनवर्टिंग लूप मध्य फिर फीडबैक है मी आउटपुट वोल्टेज पुनः इनपुट है ब कशाला दिल्ली है मित्रों मी दिल है इनवर्टिंग इनपुट है लूप को इनवर्टिंग इनपुट लूप है फीडबैक वी इनपुट मी नॉन इनवर्टिंग इनपुट ली एक्सटर्नल वी इनपुट दिल एक रेजिस्टर जोड़ला है रेजिस्टर अक्रॉस वोल्टेज मी कशाला है इनवर्टिंग इनपुट है आउटपुट मी फीडबैक के आता इत आउटपुट मेरा मिलना है इत जरा बारकाईन बगा हा इनपुट है बगा इनपुट हा कॉन्स्टंट है इतना जो इनपुट है मित्रों मी जरा स पेन घतो मे लक्षा ये इतना जो इनपुट है मित्रों इनपुट कॉन्स्टंट दिल है बॉन्स्टंट इनपुट दिल हा इनपुट दिल कॉन्स्टंट 
आता जर आउटपुट बगित मित्रों मैं आउटपुट आउटपुट मात्र वोल्टेज है क्वेजी स्टैटिक है वेरिंग वोल्टेज है मजे वोल्टेज वाड़ जाते बगा मैनस वी मैक्स पास प्लस वी मैक्स कड़े बशाक जाते मैनस वी मैक्स समझा वी मैक्स मी वजा चार होल्ट मटल ते वजा वजा चार होल्ट ते अधिक चार होल्ट हे कि वेला मधे जाते बगा किती वेला मधे मैं दिस्त है इन टाइम डेल्टा टी मी जर इनपुट कॉन्स्टंट वोल्टेज दिल मित्रों इत ब इनपुट मी कॉन्स्टंट वोल्टेज दॉन्स्टंट एम्प्लिट्यूड दी आउटपुट मात्र मैं इत आउटपुट वोल्टेज मेरा वेरिएशन मिलते वेरिएशन जाते कस वाड़ते वजा चार ते अधिक चार वाड़ते वजा चार ते अधिक चार वाड़ते टोटल डिफरेंस जर बगित अधिक चार वजा वजा चार आठ आला आठ समझा मी इत टाइम टी टाइम टी इत मी का मन तो वोल्टेज वजा आठ वाड़ बे वजा चार पास अधिक चार पर्यत वजा आठ वोल्ट वाड़ल मी सॉरी अधिक आठ वोल्ट वाड़ कि आठ डिफरन्स है दोन वोल्टेज लेवल मधला डेल्टा टी मे मैं सेकंड्स मे से स्लीव रेट मे दैट इज द डेविएशन इत मे बेविएशन वी मैक्स मैनस मैनस वी मैक्स इत है बेविएशन मैं आठ का घेल हो तो लक्षा आल वी मैक्स इत कि चार ग्रही धरल पर मैनस वी मैक्स कि वजा चार मी मैक्स चार मैनस मैनस चार आल आठ इत स्लीव रेट इत आठ आला अंश आठ आठ आला समझा आठ सेकंद लगले डेल्टा टी मे इतन इत पर जाएगा लागना जो टाइम है तो आठ सेकंद असेल तर माला स्लीव रेट झाला किती मित्रों वन झाला वन स्लीव रेट झाला वन पन जनरली इन केस ऑफ ऑपरेशनल एम्प्लीफायर इन केस ऑफ सेवन फोर वन अपैम जनरली द स्लीव रेट इज पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट पर ही फिगर मित्रों लक्षा लगे तुम्हारा बरसदा ऑब्जेक्टिव मध्य विचार जाए कि शॉर्ट नोट विचार जाए पैरामीटर्स ऑफ द ऑपरेशनल एम्प्लीफाय लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन विचार तुम्हारा आठ के दह पैरामीटर्स दयावे लगते विथ द डायग्राम विथ डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशन वी हेव टू राइट All the parameters of the operational amplifier or the IC seven four one that will be the op amp. Simply, it will be known as an op amp. Its number is seven four one. Question will be asked in different way. The straightforward is write a short note on a parameters of operational amplifier. We have to list the parameter first. and we have to describe explain each parameter in detail with diagram if that question is for the short note we have to write about five parameter in detail we have to explain five parameter in detail if that question is connected question with the any other that is draw the diagram of uh, block diagram of operational amplifier and explain parameters of uh, 741 then we have to list all the parameters about the 8 to 10 parameter and we have to explain in detail with the block diagram and explaining some uh, blocks of the uh, block diagram okay 
here this leave rate is the ratio of variation in output voltage that is the delta v out and delta v out is the v max minus minus v max manje maximum mini maximum minus la kiti jata ani maximum plus la kiti jata <coughs> maximum minus la minus v max maximum plus la प्लस वी मैक्स या दोगन सा डिफरेंस कैसा गया इसा प्लस वी मैक्स माइनस माइनस वी मैक्स मंजे इता जर मी फोर फोर गेटला प्लस फोर अनि माइनस फोर गेटला तर फोर माइनस माइनस फोर मंजे जाले बरोबर प्लस एट डेट इज़ द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ आउटपुट होल्डेज and we have to take the ratio for this leave rate. Rate is the ratio with respect to time. And there is the time x time instant. We have to measure the time from or time required to go the output voltage from minus V max to plus V max. And that time interval is delta T. And if we take the ratio of Delta V max that is the rate of change of output voltage to delta T, delta T is the time interval, then that ratio is the slew rate. And generally for the operational amplifier 741, the slew rate is 0.5 volt per microsecond, means that output voltage of the para output voltage of the operational amplifier it will be increases 0 0.5 volt for each microsecond if we take the time interval of 2 microsecond then the change in volt rate of change in volt is the 1 volt if we take time interval of 3 microsecond then it is to be output voltage or the change in output voltage is the it will be goes from 0 to 1.5 volt if we take 4 nanosecond sorry 4 microsecond then rate of change of output voltage should be 2 volt it means that generally the slew rate for 741 or Operational amplifier is 0.5 hold per microsecond. And we have to take in memory that is slew rate is 0.5 hold per microsecond because it is to be asked for the objective question. Here the slew rate is measured as shown in diagram just I explained it. A pulse is a pulse is applied to the input that will be the pulse is that is the output is constant for short time that will be known as a pulse. Pulse means the voltage amplitude should be constant for a some time extent, some time, uh, some interval of a time that will be the pulse. And here V input is the pulse. Output is the varying from minus V max to plus V max. Then from that, we are able to calculate the slew rate of that of respective operational amplifier in such way that it is the ratio of change in output voltage that is the delta of V max and delta of V max is the V max minus minus V max. It becomes plus and that is the difference between low level to high voltage, uh, high level of voltage. That is the difference between these two voltages is the delta V max. Okay. In such way, we have to calculate the slew rate and that is the fourth parameter of the operational amplifier. Friend, I am going to erase all these things first. 
again we are switching to the fifth parameter that is the open loop gain but in which mode mode is very very essential because we know that operational amplifier is operating in two mode mode is very important like our mobile we, we are going to switch the silent mode means mode of the operation but sound is sound level is zero all the operations we can see all the operations without any volume of a sound that is the mode like that we see that there are the two modes of operational amplifier one is the differential mode and other is the common mode here we are going to see the open loop gain but in which mode differential mode gain that is input to the non inverting and inverting terminal are different are not common and we know that there is the one well known sentence in case of operational amplifier that is operational amplifier can reject the common inputs and it can amplify the difference in inputs only this is the one golden statement in case of operational amplifier please keep in memory this golden statement for the operational amplifier which can simplify whole working of the operational amplifier in very well known manner means that operational amplifier can amplify the difference between inputs only also it can reject the reject the process of the amplification for common inputs जर समान इनपुट दिले असतील नॉन इनवर्टिंग आणि इनवर्टिंग ला तर आउटपुट व्होल्टेजस आउटपुट व्होल्टेज हे झिरो यायला पाहिजे आणि जर डिफरंट असतील तर त्यातला डिफरेंस जो आहे तोच एम्प्लीफाय होतो दिस इज द गोल्डन स्टेटमेंट इन केस ऑफ ऑपरेशनल एम्प्लीफायर अँड प्लीज कीप इन मेमरी दिस स्टेटमेंट ओनली आफ्टर दॅट वी आर गोइंग टुवर्ड द ओपन लूप गेन इन मोड ऑफ differential mode gain and what is that parameter the gain of operational amplifier without 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 negative feedback is called as an open loop gain open loop gain see here here the process of the feedback and in feedback in case of transistor amplifier we know that there is the positive and negative feedback and feedback is the process of injecting some part of output back to the input that process is known as an we have to loop we have to loop some of the output voltage that is small part of output voltage back to the input and that process of injecting very small part of the output again back to the input that will be known as an feedback if the phase of output and input are different that will be the negative phase that uh, feedback is known as a negative feedback if the phases are the same then that will be known as an positive feedback okay this is the history then came to the parameter open loop gain we have to calculate the one of the parameter of the 741 ic or the operational amplifier but while calculating the mode of operation is the differential mode this keep in memory we are going to calculate the open loop gain in case of when operation mode of operational amplifier is the differential mode mode is differential mode the gain of operational amplifier without a negative feedback negative feedback ahe ka no 
without bol sakshi sakshi is their problem can i audible to all well friends आवाज येतोय का माझा यस सर येतोय ओके ओके if there is some problem then uh, please mute yourself and uh, then uh, talk with me if there is one problem okay uh, late comers please submit your attendance in chat box okay uh, see here we are going to calculate the uh, we are going to explain the parameter that is the open loop gain that uh, in case of uh, differential mode the gain of operational amplifier without negative feedback without without asa mantle ani negative feedback asa mantle manje output kashala jodla asel sanga non inverting terminal la jodla asel ki inverting terminal la jodla asel just give ka, give me answer that output is fed back to the input for inverting input or non inverting input and without negative feedback manje same phase same yayla pahije ani phase same kunacha kunala connect kela tar yeto non inverting input ani output input echa madla phase saman asto inverting input ani output madhe phase reversal asto 180 out of phase asto okay manje ithe kay kela asel sanga output ha kunala fed kela asel mitrano non inverting input la fed kela asel and that gain that feedback is known as an open loop gain ani ito mi output sa ani input sa output voltage divided by input voltage is the gain and that gain is known as an open loop gain open loop gain mala kadhi milta ata baga parameter lakshat ala ka output mi kashala dila pahije maga jaun इनवर्ट नॉन इनवर्टिंग इनपुट ला दिला पाहिजे आणि इनवर्टिंग इनपुट ला मी काहीतरी इनपुट दिला पाहिजे आता जो मला आउटपुट मिळेल दैट इज व्ही आउट आणि मी जे इनपुट दिला असेल ते व्ही इन आणि या दोघांचा जर मी रेशियो घेतला आउटपुट वोल्टेज डिवाइडेड बाय इनपुट वोल्टेज म्हणजे व्ही आउट डिवाइडेड बाय व्ही इन म्हणजे मला काय मिळालं संगा गेन मिळाला आणि त्या गेनला म्हणायचं कोणता गेन ओपन लूप गेन म्हणायचं इट इज द रेशियो ऑफ that is the open loop gain in case of a differential mode it is the ratio of output voltage to the input voltage but when output is connected back fed back to the non inverting input that voltage is known as or that gain is known as an open loop gain and open loop gain is the v out divided by v in and in case of in case of ideal 741 operational amplifier 714 IC चा जो ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर है याचा ओपन लूप गेन हा नियरली इनफाइन इनफाइनाइट असतो म्हणजे किती असतो इट इज व्हेरी 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 लार्ज इट इज नियरली इनफाइनाइट एंड इनफाइनाइट इज अनमेजरेबल एंड हियर हियर इट इज सेड दैट असं म्हणायचं का संगा इनपुट पेक्षा आउटपुट हा व्हेरी 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 हाय आहे म्हणून इन कंपेरिंग विथ द इनपुट आउटपुट इज इनफाइनाइट एंड आउटपुट डिवाइडेड बाय इनपुट हा काय मिळतो आपल्याला इनफाइनाइट मिळतो व्हेरी व्हेरी हाय असतो असं जरी असलं तरी आपण काय केलेलं आहे ओपन लूप गेन फॉर डिफरेंशियल मोड ऑफ अ 741 आईसी आपण कॅल्क्युलेट केलेलं आहे एंड इट इज अबाउट 1 2 3 बघा एकम दम शतम सहस्र दशसहस्र लक्ष इट इज अबाउट दी वन लॅक आहे काय आहे सांगा म्हणजे मी इनपुट जर वन वोल्टेज दिलं आणि आउटपुट हा इन नॉन इनवर्टिंग इनपुट ला मी काय केला मित्रांनो जर फीडबॅक केला तर एक वोल्ट इनपुट ला मला आउटपुट वन लॅक वोल्ट मिळेल अँड इट इज अ ट्रिमेंडस हाय आहे म्हणून याला काय म्हणायचं मित्रांनो इनफाइनाइट असं म्हणायचं अँड दिस इज द फिफ्थ पॅरामीटर of the operational amplifier c again closed loop gain just we see the open loop gain here we have to see the closed loop gain and closed loop gain 
that is output should be that is output should be negative feedback and in negative feedback manje kay karnar it output terminal inverting input la jodnar inverting input la jodle ki closed loop zala and in non inverting loop la inver uh, non inverting terminal la jodle ki open loop zala it is the voltage gain ata mi kay kele baka output terminal getla ani inverting input la jodle manje it a negative feedback zala that is there is the uh, in between the output and input there is the phase shift of 180 degree was arises that is the negative feedback tela mana it's a closed loop and it is the voltage it is the voltage gain with output voltage and input voltage with the external feedback uh, using negative feedback as mantlela and it is arbagitla that is the closed loop gain acl as mantlela closed loop gain is aol divided by 1 plus aol aol manje mahit hai tumhala open loop gain hai ani aol chi value aplyala mahit hai javar jal 1 lakh cha aspas hai ani ithe jar apan ithe ratio getla tar ideal value hi yechi far kami ete mitrano that is the closed loop gain of operational amplifier 7741 amplifier ideal operational amplifier will, will be very very small and it is about the 100 it is about the 100 open loop gain 1 lakh hai tar closed loop gain mitrano 100 hai 100 okay this is the sixth parameter then seventh parameter is very very important parameter and that parameter is uh, uh, frequency response curve popar dada lecture madhe hai mi tumhala ek 20 minutat phone karu frequency response curve frequency response curve we know that generally frequency response curve is the curve curve means it is the graph it is the float and if there there is the graphical if we have to draw one of the graphical representation there is the requirement of two quantities one we have to float it on y axis and another we have to float it on x axis and in case of frequency response curve on y axis we are going to float the gain it may be voltage gain means that we have to float the voltage gain on y axis and frequency on x axis then that float then that graph is known as an frequency response curve if we draw the frequency response curve for if we draw the frequency response curve for 741 ic that is operational amplifier and that frequency response curve just me to tumhala zara sharing thambavto ani frequency response curve mi dakhavto फ्रिक्वेन्सी रिस्पॉन्स कर वो दाखो तो मी इत घरलो कशा मधे अपने पीपीटी मध्य घरलो मित्रों कटपेस्ट कराते इत है ब्रिक्वेन्सी रिस्पॉन्स कर ओके फ्रेंड इकड़ का बन वायक्सिस गेन दाखिल है एक्स एक्सिस फ्रिक्वेन्सी दाखिल है हा वक्रा कर जवर जवर अपने का ब्राफ दि ग्राफ आता इत जर बगित फ्रिक्वेन्सी ज्यादा जरा बारकाईन बैग्राम मित्रों डायग्राम दिते ना ग्राफ दिखो का संगा गिव मी रिस्पॉन्स ग्राफ दिखो का पिलेनो सर ओके ओके जरा इत दिखो मजा कर्सर दिखो बट यूनिट एम एच जेड है मेगा हर्ड्स है तेला यफ युनिटी मना ग्राफ वरुण यफ युनिटी मैं वैल्यू किल संगा वन मेगा हर्ट्स वेअर द गेन बिकम युनिटी द फ्रिक्वेन्सी द फ्रिक्वेन्सी ऑफ द इनपुट सिग्नल वेअर गेन बिकम युनिटी दैट फ्रिक्वेन्सी विल बी नोन एज एन यफ युनिटी कुछ तरी ऑब्जेक्टिव मध्य विचार जाए वॉट इज यफ युनिटी 
F unity is the frequency of the input signal where the gain of operational amplifier become unity that is the output voltage divided by input voltage that ratio become same that is it becomes one that frequency is known as an F unity frequency and in case of operational amplifier or the 741 IC that uh, that frequency for the 741 is the 1 mega hertz please here the highest uh, gain is 100k 100k manje k manje punna tyachavar 3 shunya gya manje 1 lakh ala vaga ekam dham shatam sahasra dasha sahasra ani laksha 1 lakh ala vaga 1 lakh k chai vaji kai getlea tumhi 3 shunya getlea 1000 cha are shambar la 1000 na gundla shambar la 1000 na gundla ki 1 lakh ala vaga 1 lakh manje kone open loop frequency hai closed loop kiti hai 100 and 100, Kali Ayavaka 100. Andi mag kai kele mitra no, Echa varna zar apan kai takla, Zar lamba takla thya graph varthi, Tar lamba jati ka ni chhed to, Karula chhed to, Tyala manai cha BFCL. BFCL, That is the frequency, When, That is B, Here, The letter B is used, Because, Just, Just, we are going to see here that is the frequency response curve shows the change in voltage with respect to change in the voltage gain with respect to frequency. Gain versus frequency is a curve. The gain without feedback, without feedback means open loop gain. The gain without feedback that will be known as an open loop gain. And it will be the highest open loop gain is the 1 lakh. In the mid band, mid band magashimi da kolela B point zo hai, to mid band hai. Mid band hai, zawar zawar apan nimmya hai lage to hai, lamba taak to hai. The open loop gain, open loop gain is shown. And the frequency, the frequency at which the gain is, gain is 70.7%. 70.7 kutun anla. That is 1 by root 2 root 2 guys. 1 divided by 2 root 2 kela ki 0 0.707 eta tala shambar na gunla ki aplala kaya milta hai. That is the uh, root mean square se 70.7 percent milta hai. And yala mantle like cut off frequency and that cut off frequency will be indicated by letter B. And letter B la ji frequency milta hai. Tala pan cut off frequency manto hai. And he frequency the world the world up lala 10 hertz milte 10 hertz milte monolithal lila leva got 10 hertz and he put as why a point the call like graph made last la where unit gain milte tell up on yaf unity mil month way yes so the quantities the shower no explain kill let me try no either yeah frequency response curve or near or अपल्याला काय केली लेत, इते explain केली लेत, मी sharing change करतो है, आणि पुन्ना PPT मदे जातो है, आणि PPT मदे अपले parameters, 8 parameter होता, 8 parameter मदे आलो, इते 1 lakh हा open loop gain है, आणि याचा mean, मझे square root means, mean जो आहे, तो अपल्याला गेतले ला इते 70.7% ला, तो आले ला है, तो 10 hertz आले ला है, आणि last ला, Unity gain frequency of unity J. The aplala one mega hertz a lile. Manje frequency response curve has open loop gain versus frequencies as a graph kadla. Tariya thin quantities milta. And ya thin quantity chiji kimmata hai. Kashashi jala operational amplifier 741 chiji kimmata hai. Thi ita lile liye. Open loop gain ha one lakh as to. That's more over cut off frequency 10 hertz as the and of unity frequency he about 1 mega hertz as the it is the play a thin objective you should that open loop gain he 1 lakh as the operational amplifier chee and a row cut off frequency gi 10 hertz as the and of unity frequency mitra no gi 
की आपल्याला इथे किती मिळते वन मिळते या थर्ड मिळते म्हणजे हा जो सेवन पॅरामीटर आहे तोही मित्रांनो फार इम्पॉर्टंट आहे ओके आता एट्थ पॅरामीटर ऑफ ऑपरेशनल अँप्लिफायर ऑर द सेव्हन फोर वन अँप्लिफायर द इनपुट इम्पेडन्स आणि इनपुट इम्पेडन्स कसा पाहिजे द इनपुट इम्पेडन्स इज द रेशो ऑफ द इनपुट वोल्टेज टू द इनपुट करंट आपल्याला माहित आहे V is equal to I R. Impedance is the resistance, and R is equal to V divided by I. Golden rule of Prabhu Ohm's rule. V is equal to I R. Impedance is one type of resistance, and one type of resistance means R. And R is equal to Ki S L. Who gets the impedance? Mula gaabra is na. Impedance. Dance mand lagi Ki mane is a resistance. So Bahu is a. Kuna sa Bahu is a resistance sa Bahu is. Tya mula. आपल्याला रेशो काय मिळेल रेशो मिळेल व्होल्टेज डिवायडेड बाय करंट आणि व्होल्टेज म्हणजे कुठलं इनपुट रेजिस्टन्स म्हणजे इनपुट व्होल्टेज डिवायडेड बाय इनपुट करंट कसा फॉर्म्युला करायचा लक्षात आलं का इनपुट इम्पेडन्स काढायचा आहे म्हणजे इनपुट व्होल्टेज डिवायडेड बाय इनपुट करंट अँड वी नो दॅट इनपुट इम्पेडन्स फॉर द ऑपरेशनल अँप्लिफायर इज व्हेरी व्हेरी हाय बट इट इज मेजरेबल it is not unmeasurable if it is unmeasurable it will be tends to infinity here it is high but measurable input impedance is very very large or so large and but in case of in case of in case of 741 operational amplifier this parameter of input impedance is measurable and it is about 100 mega ohm aso mantla jata it is several it is several 1000 mega ohm temul apan ita mantana kay manaycha it is about the 100 mega ohm it will be changes it will be changes according to the darlington pair vb voltages we know that at the designing at the formation at the designing of the at the uh, formation of the two the uh, formation of the differential amplifier or, pre, or operational amplifier to darlington pair or to identical pair of uh, transistor are to be taken and according to their vbe that is base to emitter voltage this input impedance will be depend if the vbe will be slightly changed uh, the input impedance will be changes highly जर त्या दोघांच्या व्हीबी मध्ये स्लाईट डिफरन्स असेल तर इनपुट इम्पेडन्स फार कमी होतो आपल्याला इनपुट इम्पेडन्स मित्रांनो जास्त पाहिजे त्यामुळे हा व्हीबी जो आहे दोन ट्रान्झिस्टरचा जो व्हीबी आहे बेस्ट टू इमिटर व्होल्टेज आहे ते नियरली इक्वल पाहिजे आणि जेवढं नियरली इक्वल असेल तेवढं हंड्रेड ऑर द थाउजंड ऑफ द मेगा ओम आपल्याला काय मिळेल इनपुट इम्पेडन्स मिळेल म्हणजे इनपुट इम्पेडन्स रिलेशन या पॅरामीटरच रिलेशन हे कुणा बरोबर आहे सांगा आयडेंटिकल पेअर आपण ज्या चूज करतोय ट्रान्झिस्टरच्या त्याच्या व्हीबी व्होल्टेज बरोबर ते रिलेट आहे याच्यामध्ये जर डिफरन्स असेल तर इनपुट इम्पेडन्स हा कमी होतो आणि यामध्ये जर डिफरन्स नसेल नियरली इक्वल असतील तर तो हंड्रेड चा थाउजंड ऑफ थाउजंड ऑफ मेगा ओहम इतका तो वाढू शकतो त्यामुळं इनपुट इम्पेडन्स इन केस ऑफ ऑपरेशनल अँप्लिफायर ऑर द डिफरन्शनल अँप्लिफायर इज व्हेरी व्हेरी इसेन्शियल अँड इट इज व्हेरी व्हेरी हाय इन केस ऑफ सेव्हन फोर वन ऑपरेशनल अँप्लिफायर ऑर डिफरन्शनल अँप्लिफायर ओके आउटपुट इम्पेडन्स आउटपुट इम्पेडन्स लाईक दिस मग अशी आउटपुट इम्पेडन्स आणि इम्पेडन्स म्हणजे रेजिस्टन्स आणि आउटपुट वोल्टेज डिवायडेड बाय आउटपुट करंट रेशियो आहे आणि इन डाटा शीट अँड इन डाटा शीट ऑफ Uh, operational amplifier or the 741 ic it is very very less and it is one of the characteristic of the operational amplifier that is output impedance of the output impedance of the operational amplifier is less while input impedance is very very high and it is about 50 ohm 50 ohm to 100 or 200 ohm means it is very less it is ranges from 50 ohm to 200 ohm and last parameter of the operational amplifier 
or the 741IC is the power band width or the power dissipation it is indicated by PD and this is the rating is the maximum power dissipation of the operational amplifier in normal abundant temperature means that power dissipation factor power dissipation factor in case of operational amplifier is very very high in case of normal temperature if the temperature is increased if the normal operating temperature room temperature is increased the power dissipation is increases it is proportional with the temperature that is the temperature of the work place it will be depend upon the temperature of the work place where the where the operational amplifier is to be going to work and if that workplace temperature or the temperature of the operation is increased, the power dissipation or the power bandwidth is to be increased. And typically for normal power, normal uh, room temperature, it is to be 500 mega watt. Friends, it is very, very high. Power dissipation required in case of uh, operational amplifier or the 741 IC is very very high and it is about the about the 500 mega ohm. Friends, let's first try to understand the different parameter. 10 dis different distinct parameter of the 741 IC or operational amplifier because the parameter are the characteristics of the operational amplifier. This parameter fix the use role of the operational amplifier for different application. Means according to parameter the role of application or the role of the operational amplifier in different application is fixed. Means that applications of the operational amplifier op amp is according to parameters of the operational amplifier ya parameter mulats apan to kay karat asto veg vegla distinct application sathi use karto tyamule ita mahatvacha kay ahe mitrano ita mahatvacha ahe te parameters ahe and this parameter is supplied in the middle of the applications are defined. Go to the next uh, topic. Here are the characteristics of the ideal operational amplifier. Ideal means if that parameter fulfills all the condition, all theoretical condition of the operational amplifier. There will be no dispute between theoretical value and practical values. All practical value will be matched with the theoretical values. There will be no any distinguish between theoretical condition and practical condition of the operational amplifier. That operational amplifier, that Operational amplifier is known as an ideal amplifier. Ideal means all ideal conditions are fulfilled by that differential amplifier or operational amplifier. The first, first characteristic is zero noise contribution. Noise level is zero. We know that these are the two identical transistor and identical transistor can uh, amplify in case of similar amplification mode and uh, output current, output current of both the transistor Q1, Q2 or you may say T1, T2 are the same and we are going to take the difference between, we are taking, we are going to uh, take the output across the both of the collector. And we know that in both the collector, same voltage, same magnitude of the voltage is to be observed, but opposite in direction. 
and if we take the voltage across the both the collector of the transistors T1 and T2 or Q1 or Q2, their magnitude are the same but direction are opposite, then voltage across collector becomes zero, ideally zero. Then what about the noise level? Noise level will be restricted to zero. It will become zero. We know that in case of transistor, basic transistor amplifier, it may be single stage, double stage or multi-stage. As the stages are increased, uh, that amplifier becomes noisy. That amplifier increases the noise level. And one of the drawback, one of the demerit of the basic transistor amplifier is the its noise level is very, very high. We have to restrict, we have to overcome that demerit of the basic transistor in case of operational amplifier. And here, with using two inverse parallel uh, design of two transistor Q1, Q2 or it may be T1, T2, here we can able to minimize the noise level at the operation, at the output voltage and here the noise contribution in case of ideal operational amplifier, it is almost zero. It is almost zero. In ideal operational, operational amplifier, that is the output, uh, output is very, very less noisy and noise level, it will be reduced to zero. The second is infinite bandwidth. Bandwidth is the infinite, means that it will be ranges from some hertz to some megahertz. Some hertz to hundreds of megahertz. It will be operated in very large frequency range. Means its operating level, operating bandwidth in case of operational amplifier or the ideal amplifier, ideal operational amplifier is very, very large. And it, hence it will be seen that it will be, uh, it will be explained in uh, this language that is the infinite bandwidth. It has not large, not very, very large, but it has a very, very, uh, it, it has an infinite bandwidth, means it will be operate from hertz to hundreds of megahertz. Then zero offset voltage. What about the offset voltage? Offset voltage is the, the output voltage. When both the inputs are grounded. Inputs are grounded means if the zero voltage is given to the inputs, means the non-inverting and inverting inputs are supplied with the zero voltage or they will be grounded, we get some of the output offset voltage. But in case of ideal offset, ideal uh, operational amplifier, ideal amplifier, uh, ideal operational amplifier, it will be matches the theoretical value. And it's there, both the transistor Q1, Q2 or it may be T1, T2 are the ideal or the equivalent or the identical. Then what about the output offset voltage? If the both the input non-inverting and inverting are connected to ground, their output voltage should be zero. Means output offset voltage when inputs are grounded should be zero in case of ideal operational amplifier. Friends, this is the one of the best characteristic of the checking that is testing, testing of operational amplifier. That is the operational amplifier is the calibrated or not. It will be calibrated from the output offset value just just ground just ground their input terminal and measure the output voltage with respect to ground and if it is if it is zero it will be bestly calibrated or it will be the it will be called as an ideal operational amplifier that is one of the testing tool just test the output offset voltage of the operational amplifier any operational amplifier like 741 ic okay the second, that fourth one is the 
that is characteristic of the ideal operational amplifier is the infinite slew rate. Slew rate should be infinite. We know that. It is the 0 0.5. In case of 741, it is 0 0.5 hold per microsecond, just I told. But which is the 741? It is not ideal. We are, we are going to compare the all the parameters with the ideal value, that is theoretical value. And which was the ideal operational amplifier whose slew rate is infinite. Infinite means, means in zero, in zero time interval. Chet zero yala paije na mitrano. Mitrano chet zero yala paije. Ani to kashata ratio hai sanga. Magashish mi sangitla. That is the rate of change of output voltage with respect to time interval or the rate of time interval delta t and delta t zero vayla paise mid manje kaya within, within instant within moment output should be very high output should be very high and the ideal ideal operational amplifier characteristic is that is the slew rate should be slew rate should be friends infinite that is t should be zero in time, in moment of time, in zero time, output should be high. And that is the slew rate. And here, the I discussed the fourth best characteristic of the ideal operational amplifier. Friends, uh, question should be asked on this topic. Instead, just describe the, all the parameters of the operational amplifier or write a short note on a operational amplifier. Many times it uh, asked for 10 mark. Describe in detail parameters of the operational amplifier and give the characteristic of ideal operational amplifier. Ita matra tumala dhamar kaza prashna ito. Pratek parameter with diagram in detail discuss karawal again. And it char characteristics at ideal operational amplifier cha the char cha char characteristic of lala in detail level actil. But as the combined the thoda sa language firun which are laza to current heading I kai sang either operational amplifier check I characteristic parameter of operational amplifier. Pun thoda sa prashna sa which are laza to describe parameter of the 741 IC. And also give characteristic of ideal 741 IC operational amplifier. 741 IC is a number of upper lamun gabrun zaitsun aye. Are 714 operational amplifier is a op amp is a. Then we have a parameter. And we have a parameter here. And 741 kadi ideal oil. Zer theta ideal parameter kai kele. Then ideal parameter exhibit kele. If ideal parameters can calibrate kele, then to kai will ideal operational amplifier will means that 741 IC will be acts as an ideal operational amplifier.
killing the yes is of course असा मूड आला की असं होते जॉईन फास्ट ऑन सेम लिंक बरोबर आहे ना अरे आहे की हे आहे की नाही हे झालं बंदच पडलं बंदच पडलं असं व्हायला नाही पण हे हे गेले नुसतं झुम गेले झुम गेले की झुम गेले मला आता नुसत्या कशासाठी हे करायला लागणार आता बॅटरी बघा सर किती पाकच गेली म्हणजे झिरो झाली काय झिरो झाली आहे बॅटरी आयला पॉपअप आला असल मी काहीतरी हे केलं असत मित्रांनो फ्रेंड्स प्लीज टॉक विथ मी यस सर हा जरा चॅट बॉक्स मध्ये अटेंडन्स द्या ओके सर सगळ्यांनी अटेंडन्स द्या अरे अजून किती जरी जण होते वन टू थ्री अठरा जण होते अठरा जण आला अमृत आली अमृत काळ अटेंडन्स दे अटेंडन्स माझ्यानंतर आता लाडगावकर सर लेक्चर घेणार आहेत दहा पंधरा मिनिटांनी मित्रांनो सगळ्यांनी अटेंडन्स द्या साक्षी सर भूक भूक लागली का नाही सर मग कस बाहेर पडलो आपण सर आम्ही सगळे होतो तुम्ही फक्त बाहेर जर गेलता माझ काय झालं माहितीये का लॅपटॉप ची बॅटरी संपली हा 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 ओके बाकी काय निकेन ओके फक्त चार्ट बॉक्स केला अटेंडन्स टाकला का आपला सगळ्यांचा हो सर ओके ओके आता माझ्यानंतर लाडगावकर सर घेतील थांबूया आपण आज हा चालते ओके 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 थँक यू थँक यू हॅव अ नाईस डे स्टे होम